What is going on guys, DBG here, and in this video we are going to be talking about the moments, well not sorry, not the moments guys, the current Series 2 cards, which come with, well which are basically in the same packs as a few of the new moments cards. So yeah, pretty much we've got moments cards, uh, new ones today, as well as some card, some absolutely new cards in the form of current Series 2. And I'm telling you guys this right now. These cards are not very good. However, I'm personally of the opinion that if you guys are opening packs, like, I don't think it's the greatest thing in the world. Any, like, a lot of people interpreted my video yesterday and some of the stuff I'm saying as that it's great that we're getting these new cards. Not necessarily. Like, if they were giving us, say, these League Series 2 packs, if they had to drop these on their own today with nothing else in them, then that's a problem. However, they were going to drop five moments cards, which they did. They dropped five moments cards, and those these five moments cards right here have also been added just into new packs. And rather than going into current NBA, where these cards are all absolutely worthless, we go to a slightly less worthless set right here. Although these guys still do have some silvers, they're still going to be rare cards, they're just going to have a little bit more worth. So I personally do not think anyone should open packs. But if you are going to open packs, you're going to get a lot more value out of them because of this than previous. Like, even if 2K gave us three brand new pink diamond cards, for the average player that's not going to pull any pink diamond cards, the fact that current Series 2 has happened means they're going to get more value from packs. So, while, yeah, it's not perfect, it doesn't fix the fact that 2K are giving us no content. 2K have not given us, have only given us two cards all year in a Triple Tread Online as part of events. The events are getting worse and worse, or not even getting worse and worse, just not getting better. They become more and more outdated. The agenda is an absolute joke. There are so many things wrong with the game, but I don't think adding in League Series 2 packs, which ain't completely updating the League Series, is a bad thing. Because again, it means that you're going to be seeing guys with Wayne Wade and uh, what's his name, and Arvita Sabonis today. And that's not a bad thing. That is not a bad thing because it was actually looking like. It was going to be months and months until these cards came out. And while they probably went a little bit overboard by adding in 450, I don't, like, it, I think it's hard to argue that this specific thing is a bad thing. Should they, should there be other priorities? Yes, but I don't think anyone can argue that uh, having just a whole bunch of better and more, like, filler cards are worth more. Not only does it put, make these cards worth more in MT because they become rarer and rarer, if you have any of these not locked in, it also means that we've got a whole new set of players. In this video, I'm going to be talking about some of them and ones that I think are worth it, ones that I think are not worth using. And I don't know what price they are, I just mean like will be in some way usable. Are any of these cards world beaters? No. At the same time, you got a current NBA, where Zingas and Cat are literally like the only ones that anyone uses. So we go into this one right here. Actually, Giannis used a little bit, and it is kind of similar. So, first of all, I'm going to go over Embiid, who I think is a not great card. Like, no Hall of Fame badges. I think these are based almost exactly off their players in the rosters, which is not the worst thing in the world, but, like, got some silver badges, some bronzes, some golds. Like, anyway, badges aren't the worst, however, no quick draw, which is a massive negative. So, like, he's got a fantastic post game. He's actually got decent three ball. Good dunk. He's got... An okay, but not great block. Really good interior defense. Great defense rebounding. Not awful speed. And Lowry 64 is not good, but not absolutely terrible. Like again, this card is probably going to cost 5, 6 KMT, I'd say. When it's all said and done, it's going to drop to that price. And I think that a 5, 6 KMT, like, he'll be less than that. So he's probably going to be 2, 3 KMT. Had he had, had they given him quick draw, had they basically just decided we're going to give every single player, which is what I don't think they should have done. I think they should have given every single player in this set quick draw. And there's a bunch of cards that the only problem with them, with them is that they don't have quick draw. And that's going to make a lot of them not usable. Like Embiid would be a re for 2, 3 KMT. He'd be really solid. And you'd see a lot of people using him, especially because it would mean that um, he's a current player and people like him if they gave him quick draw. Simmons, if they made him a point guard, would be really nice as well. So Ben Simmons actually gets some good enough gold badges. Silver badges are all right. Silver clamps. Look, he's nothing spectacular. Stats-wise, like, he, he's got a great layup and dunk. Can't shoot the ball at all. It's Ben Simmons. Like, he's as accurate to Ben Simmons' the current rosters. Got a good handle, good passing stats. Got great perimeter defense and steal. Great speed as well. And has got solid lateral quickness. Solid but not great lateral quickness. 
for 610. But you add that with silver clamps and stuff. And he just, especially if he could play point guard, he'd be an overall decent card. However, he can't play point guard, so he's really not nothing spectacular, to be honest. Um, Tobias Harris, cards like this, I just, I looked through them. They're not up to much, any of these cards. So then I'm going to go Bradley Beal is again a card that shoots the ball moderately well. He's actually. Was he always 6? Yeah, he was always 6'3". He was always 6'3". He's got steady shooter. That's another problem. Almost all these guys have got steady, which is not great. I get range extender silver, which is okay, but steady shooter and no quick draw is a bit of a problem. And quick draw is an almost needed badge. And like, I wonder what they do with Wall. Actually, they just didn't change anything, I don't think. He's got silver clamps, and he's got no quick first step. So like, okay, sure he is quick first step, does he? And I missed it. Yeah, he's quick first step gold, sorry. So like again, like these guys are slightly better. Like he's probably slightly better than a Diaron Fox or something. Uh Siakam is up at a Ruby, should be up higher. But Siakam has only got three gold badges, no quick draw. He's got silver steady, which isn't great. Like again, gold steady is not great, but you can live with it. You can apply like with silver or below steady, it's really poor. Kyle Lowry got floor general and stuff. He's got silver quick draw, which is not awful. Silver quick first step. He's got no clamps though by the looks of it. Yeah, uh, also he's got bronze clamps, which means he's, yeah, he's worthless. He's not gonna, like, no range extender stuff, he's worthless. Uh, Derek Rose, I've had a look at him, he is just not up to much either. Like, only silver quick for a step for D-Rose. Three balls, not great, can't dunk. Which again, like, it is current Derek Rose, you can't expect too much, but not good at all. Um, Oladipo even isn't up to much. Like, 10 golds, he's got clamps, defensive leader. Um, but again, a bit of a, has definitely got some problems. Then we're on to the first diamond, which is Kevin Durant. So Kevin Durant diamond, again, not up to much. So he's not steady. Yeah, range extend is good. However, no quick draw, which is not great. Also got silver quick first step and bronze clamps. So look, he's one overall higher than the other one. Except he is six foot 10 instead of six nine, I guess. Like, he's got base. I'm pretty sure he's got basically the same stats. He can speed boost a bit. Premier defense is all right. Speed's all right. Like, you know what? Kevin Durant, if he was, like, 8K MT, would not be awful. But he's, like, 100K MT right now. Probably going to sell around 20, 30K. Is not going to be worth that. Kyrie Irving's terrible. I'm not even going to look at his stats. Vucevic. Um, Jonathan Isaac is one where, had they just given him his badges from his Sapphire card, would be really nice. Like, his Sapphire card has got, like, clamps and all the defensive badges, but this is a 6'11 small forward who's got quick draw, and his release of quick draw, I'm telling you, is good. However, he's got basically no def no badges at all, including no real defensive badges. 3-ball 76 is all right. Like, a 76 3-ball with him with quick draw, if they just given him his badges from... Uh, I'll go to his Sapphire right here. Jonathan Isaac. Like, if they'd... I couldn't even care less the Sapphire's got better stats if they had just given them the nine gold badges. But again, it's based on current roster, so they can't. But the nine gold badges are big with the Sapphire. He's actually an inch taller as well. Driving dunk is not great of 65. But he has got a great block of 95, solid perimeter and defense of steel. Not great speed, speed, ball, and acceleration. Now, quickness isn't the best, but he would actually have been a solid card. Uh, Vucevic, not great. None of the Knicks are any good. Um, none of the Hornets are any good. Jimmy Butler... Not up to much, really, to be honest. Funny thing is, is that this isn't even Jimmy Butler's hand. Uh, someone actually sent me a picture. That is not Jimmy Butler's hand. As much as it looks like it is, there's someone behind him and it's his hand. <laughs> um, but, like, he's an inch smaller than his normal card. Like, he's normally 6'8". He's only got nine badges. Gold clamps is good. But um, he's another player who has got no quick draw. And that make them, makes him borderline worthless. Trey Young can't really play defense. Can shoot the ball a little bit, though. Like, got range extender gold, he's got quick draw gold, so he can shoot the ball a little bit. Um, but that's literally it, can't guard anybody. 55 perimeter defense. You're not gonna be seeing, uh, as much as non-clamps players get blown by, he's gonna get blown by even worse. And I'm gonna leave Yanis because he is one of the few usable cards. Kawhi Leonard is not up to much. Again, no quick draw, although he's got some good badges. He has steady, unfortunately. He's got no quick draw as well, which isn't great. Um, 6 7, okay, three ball, okay, dunk. Good perimeter defense, good steal, decent speed, okay, a lot of quickness. 
Again, if he was like 5, 6k MT, he'd be all right if they gave him quick draw, but unfortunately he didn't, and he's getting more expensive. Another card that would be really nice with quick draw is Paul George, although he's actually shrunk an inch. He is 6'8 instead of 6'9, but he can still play the two. He's got like Intimidator, Clamps, Defensive Leader, got Silver Range Center. Silver Steady's not great, but you know what? If he was like really cheap and had quick draw, it wouldn't be the worst. But again, I don't know why I'm talking about ifs, because he doesn't have quick draw and he's not great. Um, Steph Curry. Steph Curry's got some good things about him, like all of them quick draw range extender, you can't deny it, they're good. He has got steady, unfortunately. He's still got some good badges, but it's just not gonna play any defense at all. Like, he's got a great three ball, can't dunk, good handle and passing. Not great steal or perimeter defense. He's got okay speed and all right lateral quickness, so he's not gonna be terrible again if he's like five, six KMT. Actually, I wouldn't even suggest using him for that much, but he's not absolutely terrible. Um, Dame Lillard, again, is not great. I'm pretty sure he doesn't have any great badges. Actually, he's got quick draw range extender. Sure, he's quick first step goal, does he? He doesn't. He has only a silver quick first step and silver steady, which is a problem, as well as being an inch smaller as his other card. Um, in smaller than his other card. A decent three ball, good dunk, great passing. He's got terrible perimeter defense, though. Not great speed, not good lateral quickness. CJ McCollum, I don't know what, or Sam Whiteside is the next size overall, really. Um, I don't think he's up to much. Cat, if they gave Cat quick draw again, he'd be all right, but no quick draw, basically similar badges to his Ruby. And if you're looking at his stats, an 83 ball. I don't even know if he's that much better than his Ruby, to be honest, because his Ruby was pretty good. Like, his Ruby was definitely one of the best centers at the start of the game. So like badges wise, obviously got a lot more golds, which helps, but he's also an inch smaller than his Ruby. He's got basically a worse three ball, almost the same post game. A little bit better dunk, a much worse block. He's got actually a tiny bit better speed, tiny bit better lateral quickness. To be honest, he's barely gonna be better than that Ruby. Not gonna lie, he's barely gonna be better than that Ruby. But again, if he's like two, three KMT, he's not gonna be awful. Um, CP3, not great. None of the Thunder players are great. Booker, not great either. Isn't gonna shoot the ball that well. Doesn't really play much defense. Um, who else? Throws and Aldridge, none of Spurs gonna do anything. James Harden is a pink diamond. And Harden's gonna be all right, especially because he can play. Oh, actually, no, he would have been all right had he been able to play point guard. But obviously, Harden's not gonna play defense. Not steady, but he's got basically all the badges he want gold as well. Like quick first step and stuff. Doesn't have clamps, which isn't great. Um, got decent three ball, decent dunk, great passing and ball handling. Terrible on defense, but offensively, he's gonna be all right. And if he could play point guard, he wouldn't be absolutely worthless, but because he can't, he is pretty much worthless. You know, the Pelicans guys are any good. Like, even Zion Williamson is only an emerald. Like, he's really not going to do too much, to be completely honest. Um, they didn't give him quick draw or anything, so his release isn't going to be as good as it is with quick draw. None of the Nuggets players are great, even though Jokic is quite a high overall. Seven foot tall, good mid range, good three ball, decent dunk. Isn't going to play any defense at all, is quite, is really slow. And his badges. He does not have quick draw gold, so his release is super, super slow. Then, we're on to the Mavs. Funnily enough, Porzingis is actually a downgrade. So, he is a downgrade on his other card, who is a 85 overall, I think. And they're the same height. Um, same, have, both of them have one gold badge, six silver each. I think they're the exact same badges, are they? Yeah. Um, one of them's, the one on the left's better inside. The old one is a better shooter. Uh, better ball handling, better defense, better speed. So it's actually, okay, obviously it's an intangibles difference because I was like, sure, the one on the left is better even though he's one overall lower. And Luka Doncic can't play point guard as well, which isn't great, 6'7", so he's uh, got decent height, got 37 gold badges, which is good. And again, he's got no clamps at all, which is to be expected. It just doesn't mean that he's not gonna be great. Driving dunk 75 is all right. Decent shooting, good passing, got good rebounding, decent speed, not great lateral quickness. And you know what? He's he's not going to be usable. That's weird. He's not going to be usable. And then we're on to two pink diamonds for the Lakers. Anthony Davis, who has got no clamps, no quick draw, no range extender, nothing, and not a great three ball. He's basically like his very first diamond, which is terrible. He's got an all right driving and standing dunk, or good driving and standing dunk, all right three ball, good post game though. He's got not great ball handling, good block though, steal isn't great. Interior defense is pretty good. Speed to move on, acceleration is all right. Lateral quickness is not 
awful, but not great. So, like, again, if he was, like, 10K MT, he'd be usable, but he's going to be a lot more than that. LeBron James as well. A lot of people wanted a pink diamond LeBron. I don't think they wanted this card. 6'9", so he's actually an inch taller than he normally is, but he's got defensive leader, Hall of Fame, pass rate maestro. He's got floor general, gold, downhill gold, dimer. The problem is, he, is that he's got no quick draw, which is obviously is a bad thing. He's also got only bronze clamps. He has got bronze steady, which is the worst badge in the game. Because bronze steady doesn't even improve their bonus for contested shots. Um, sorry, it doesn't even reduce the penalty for contested shots, but it just means you can't hit an open shot. And bronze range extender. Um, he's got not a great jump shot. Good dunk, though. Good handle. Great passing. Decent defense. Good speed, speed, bonding, acceleration, and good lateral quickness. So, again, if this car was like 15, 20k, he wouldn't be awful. But again, he's going to be a lot more expensive than that. So, I don't see him being worth much. The rest of the cards are not great, to be honest. So, I'm going to go over the two. Literally, I think two of them are usable. Two singular so if you're a budget player clay thompson is going to be fine like i don't know when it might not be today it might be today it might not be today i've seen one of them up for two and a half kmt and for that price he is pretty much a steal so i'm gonna have a look at what price he is now and you can obviously see by the bottom of this um which why um he's gonna be decent and it's five hall of fame badges and i don't mean clay thompson is gonna be a world beater i don't mean he's gonna be this exceptional exceptional player but like for 3k MT, he is not terrible. And the reason is, is that for 3k MT, wow, he's actually an inch smaller. Because if you're on a budget car, a budget squad, if you can get him for like 2k MT, so he's got home flame steady shooter, which is a big bonus or a big like bonus for contested shots based on normal. And again, whether it's bronze or Hall of Fame, it's the same negative for open shots. However, he's got Hall of Fame quick draw, he's got his good release, he's got Hall of Fame hot start green machine and flexible release. He's got gold clamps, which is a good badge, gold range extender. He's got Silver defensive leader, silver intimidator. So again, like, yeah, sure, steady shooter is not the best badge in the world, but his badges aren't awful. He's got a really good mid-range and three-point shot. Post fade is not terrible. He isn't going to dunk the ball. He's not going to handle well. Perimeter defense is really good, though. I'm 90. He's very slow. He's also, but he does have really, really good lower quickness of 93. So he's going to be a lockdown 3 and D guy who can shoot from deep and get off a shot quickly, as well as just being solid because again he's got clamps so again he's not like the worst player in the world um he's not gonna be great but like if he's like three or not even three k if he's like 2k mt you're looking at a guy who's gonna be able to hold his own in most situations for that price so if you're an extreme budget player he might be all right and the other player that's gonna be pretty good is an obvious one it's Yanis, and it's center Yanis. like center Yanis. whoever thought that would happen a Yanis playing at center in the position lock era but he's not nearly as good as the other Giannis so I've got this Giannis here and seven less Hall of Fame badges way less gold badges as well so we got gold quick draw which is actually a big one downhill gold as well thankfully no Hall of Fame quick first step the Hall of Fame badges he has fancy footwork is big but that's kind of his only really good one his clamps is gold instead of Hall of Fame he's got some good silver badges though like very similar badges but obviously not as good as the other pink diamond one he has also got, like, he's still 6'11". Stats-wise, he's a little bit worse of a shooter, but has a much worse free throw. Um, defensively, doesn't have as good a block and nowhere near as good of a steal. So you're not going to see him flying around the court getting steals everywhere. He's a bit of a better rebounder. Not quite as fast, but still pretty fast and got a lot of quickness. So, honestly, this Giannis is going to be a problem. Not as much of a problem as the other Giannis. But if he does go to like 40, 50 KMT at some stage, which he probably will, he is a bit of a problem, let's be real. But um, yeah, that's literally it. I think there is two of these cards that are good. Now, they're like, there's a few cards that with the addition of one badge could be good, but two guys give him the badge. So of all the cards that we have gotten in the new current NBA Series 2 set, there is literally two of them that are good. Do I think it's a good thing we have them instead of this just the normal current nba for these specific packs yeah i think it's a good idea to completely refresh the filler cards but do i think they're any good no not good at all literally two of them are somewhat worth anything anyway that's the video thank you guys for watching please like comment and subscribe